Okay, we are going to record this session so that it can be posted online for anyone that was not able to join us. So um, let's go ahead and get started. This is gonna be kind of a tutorial for you on how to use the system and how to work your way through. Um, Brittany, if you can, uh, let's see, you can't let me know if there's questions. I guess uh, if you unmute yourself uh, to ask a question, I will stop every once in a while and ask if there are any questions. Um, but I cannot see the list of people that have joined. So you'll have to help me out and unmute and go ahead and answer, ask your question. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the Larimer County Fair in the fair entry system. And we have the link for you um, in the emails we sent out uh, on the website and uh, in the newsletter. So then you wanna find your exhibitor and I have a uh, pretend exhibitor. Uh, Nikki is going to be our subject tonight. And the first thing you need to do is check that everything about your exhibitor is correct. And this information comes directly from 4-H online. So it should be all correct for you. Okay, and if you scoot down, it has some questions that need to be answered um, pertaining to the animals that you're entering in fair. And a lot of people are missing this section. So I did wanna cover it. So what I'm doing is I'll go back again to exhibitor here at the top. And we're going to edit my exhibitor, Nikki Kern. And we'll push edit. And the information about the exhibitor comes up. So before I go to entries, I'm going to answer these questions. And here um, in the system, I've said that we're going to um, have two dogs. So this section here, you can edit, it'll come up as zero, but Nikki has two dogs. So you see how to edit that area. And then we're gonna go ahead and put two dogs that we're gonna bring to fair. And we're gonna bring one market beef. And this tells you how much it is for the vet fee for those animals to be checked into the fair. You go all the way to the bottom, entering all the animals that you're going to bring. And then you need to answer this statement at the bottom of the page. And you can enter, yes, we agree to the above statement or no, we're not required to sign as no livestock will be exhibiting. Okay. And then you push continue. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to our entries. Go ahead and click on the continue to entries. And we're going to enter for Nikki. Now, if I had two people, I'd go ahead and add my entries for Nikki. Then I'd come back to here, register another exhibitor, and I would put my second child and so forth if you have more than one child. So we're going to go ahead and add an entry. And we'll start off with our dog. So we're going to find the dog trials contest, and we're going to click on select. Then it's asking us which classes we want to enter. So the first thing I'm going to enter Nikki in is dog showmanship here at the bottom. And I'm going to select. Then it brings it up. And this is what I'd like to enter. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now I'd like to know how old we are. And right here, Nikki's 4-H age is 13. So I'm going to go ahead and enter 
intermediate novice showmanship and I'm going to click on select. And if you're not sure about what level to enter, you can ask your um, dog instructor. If you come to the county workshops, they can help you with what level you need to enter. So now it shows that I have dog trials contest, dog showmanship, intermediate novice showmanship. And I want to go ahead and continue. And it'll come up asking me now what club I'm in. And it knows what club I'm in. It's listed up here. So I'm gonna select that club and then hit continue. Now I don't have any animals, so I need to go get my animals. So I'm gonna click on add an animal and I'm gonna choose from the two dogs that Nikki has registered this year. And Nikki's going to do showmanship with Memphis. So I'm gonna grab Memphis and hit select animal. So now Memphis's information comes up and that's from the dog ID. And here's the cute little picture of the little guy. And that's all correct. So I'm gonna hit continue. I'm trying to join. Now no other pictures need computer. to be added. They were already on his ID. So hit continue. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add another entry for Nikki. Or, and I'm gonna go back to dog trials, but this time I'm gonna change it to obedience. And I'm gonna select obedience, hit choose. Okay, and it could be that um, a previous example, uh, the state also uses Nikki as an example, already entered obedience. So um, we'll try uh, selecting rally and see if they did that yet. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do um, novice A. That's the class. So it brings it up here and you can check and make sure that's right. I'm gonna hit continue. So another important thing is, um, what do I do if my entry doesn't say what I want it to say? So I'm gonna look at my entries by clicking up here on entries at the top of the page. And it'll tell me what entries I've done. So I have rally and I have showmanship. Now, if you notice, Rally doesn't have a dog. So we're going to edit that. And we're going to go back. Let's see. Let's go back and start again. So if I don't like what it's doing, I mean, I don't like what it says, I can delete just this entry, Rally. And you'll see I'm still in showmanship, okay? So um, you can move back and forth through the system up here and you can also edit what you're doing. So if I wanted to um, add an entry, um, say for, trying to think what Nikki has signed up for this year. So many people have used Nikki for an example. Um, we'll do a 4-H exhibit. Uh, we'll choose cake decorating. And you can check the entry here, select it. And then we'll go ahead and enter unit one, intermediate for the age group. 
And that looks correct to me, so we'll continue. So then again, it asks you about your club. You select your club. We're not going to attach pictures because we haven't done the project yet. We haven't done the entry. Now, I can either add another entry for this person, or I can go and register another exhibitor in our family. Are there any questions? Any questions? Can someone unmute and let me know if you have any questions? I just joined, but I'm watching and it's pretty cut and dry and clear. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll continue on. So Nikki is the only member in our family and we're just going to do the, um, the two entries that we have. So I click on the top of the page, entries, and I can see what I have for Nikki, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to payment. And this was from the cake decorating contest. It's kind of a little glitch that's gonna stay with me, I'm afraid. Um, Nikki also entered the cake decorating contest. I have a question. So now I can scroll along the top so I can choose to go to payment. And it wants me to get rid of that uh, entry, which is already gone. So that makes it difficult, but it won't do that for you. Um, your uh, entries are not being used as examples. Um, so you won't run into that problem. So let me stop sharing for a minute and see if we have any um, any questions. You didn't sign up for interview judging for that cake decorating entry. Can you show how to do that? Uh, let's see. Yes, I can show signing up for interview judging. Now I just got the um, information this afternoon late that it is available. So we may have to investigate it together. Um, and see, I can see it on the other end, but I've not looked at it on your end. So let me go over there and see what we have. So let's go to entries again. Uh, we've, that's what this page is right here showing us what we have so far. For Nikki, we're going to add an entry over here with the green button. And let's look at the interviews. So I think Nikki will do uh, cake decorating um, and we're just gonna do an edible cake. We're gonna select that. You see our choices here for all the different interviews that we could do. So they should be listed right next to the judge's number. And the judges are numbered for our system mainly. So you wanna be looking at uh, what the judge is judging. If I was in shooting sports, intermediate uh, archery, then I would choose this line here. Can you see my pointer, I hope? So I'm gonna go ahead and do cake decorating because Nikki is entered in cakes. I'm gonna select that. It says exhibit day interview with judge number one doing edible cakes. I'm gonna choose that. And then Nikki is an intermediate age group, we'll select that. So I've got everything I need, the interview day, um, cake decorating edible cakes, and an intermediate unit one. Click continue. Again, I need to choose my club. 
and then it gives me the spots that are available for this judge judging this type of um, cake. So I can choose a time that works well for us. Um, I'll do 10 a.m. And then we're going to continue. Now, if I wanna see what I have, it's showing me over here for the interview judging. Let's go back to entries and take a look now at the entries that we have for Nikki. Okay, let me stop sharing and see if anyone has more questions. I do. So I have veterinary um, science. Cindy, does that help? Do you have any other questions? No, that helps. Thank you. Okay, I don't see any more coming into the chat. If you have a question, um, you can enter it in the chat. Let me see if I can look through, um, look through all of our participants. Does anyone have a question? Please feel free to unmute yourself and ask. I have a question for you. On oh, Brandy, the I can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Can you type it into the chat? It, can you hear me now? I unmuted. You're unmuted. I don't think Diane's volume's up. Okay. My question is- I'm not is, sure if that problem is on my end, but I'm not able to hear uh, several of you. Okay, hang on. Where's the chat? If you ask, I'll retype it for you. Okay, thank you. Um, what I'm wanting to know is how to do uh, showmanship. On so if you pick. have any questions, can you type it into the chat? Because I don't seem to have, um, not able to hear you. Okay, try again. Brandy, you wanna try again? Yes. How do you put in showmanship for livestock? I'm sorry, I was fixing the volume and I got the last end of it. Showmanship for livestock? Yes. Okay, you wanna see how to sign up for it? Yeah, cause we could get everything for the animals in there except for showmanship. Okay, um, were you having trouble entering the animal for the showmanship class? Yes. Yes, I noticed that when I was trying with um, tonight. Let me see uh, if we can do it together and I'll see if it's still giving you trouble. If it is, um, I will talk to uh, them about that. Um, we give them the classes and everything that we want to be visible for you to sign up for and then okay. put into the system for us. So uh, there may be a little glitch there. So. Um, I did notice that. Let me share my screen and we'll go look at it together. Okay. And also, I think I did mention to everybody that you can uh, delete any of these that you'd like um, by editing them. And the delete is over here on the left-hand side underneath your entry. Um, so if you're not happy with uh, the time you chose, you can delete it and start again, choose a different time. So, and again, if I want to go back to entries, just click up at the top, you can scroll back and forth through the system. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, um, I believe Nikki is entered in beef this year. Here we are. So up toward the top here, and we'll do beef showmanship. And I'll choose that class. And then I'm going to go ahead and select intermediate for my age group. And that was a message I wasn't sure about also. So this is in the system telling us that uh, the division does not allow animals. So I think that may be 
the issue with this. Let's go on and see what we have. So I'm in uh, beef, um, intermediate showmanship. Let's go ahead and go further and see if we get a chance to add the animal. Okay, let's go back and look at exhibitors and look under Nikki. So down here where it's asking about the animals. If it gives us a choice to choose an animal there. We may have to send out an email about this if we're not able to uh, choose an animal. So it's not really giving us a choice to add an animal for showmanship. And that's what I was finding also. Has anyone else uh, run into that problem? But looking on your thing, it at least looks like they're at least signed up for it at that, that you can't click an animal, but at least they're signed up for it. Because right. I know in the old forms, you couldn't, you didn't put an animal, you just put showman, signed them up for showmanship. And then my kids have always just chose the animal the day of. Okay. So maybe that's why they're not asking you to choose an animal. Okay. So was that enough help on how to sign up for showmanship? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Anyone okay. else have any questions that I can help with? No, thank you. Okay, everybody's all set and you can create your entries. I have a question. Okay. So for veterinary science, the project, is interviewing mandatory or is it optional? It's optional. Okay, because the day that they're interviewing is August 3rd and that's my ranch classes. Right. So if it's now, optional, I'll opt out. Now you can try to schedule a time that will fit in and around and um, you know the horse show usually works with you to try to make sure that you can do both if you'd like but it is optional okay thank you you're welcome i had a question about if you submit an exhibitor for say shooting sports put it in as a project board and then need to change it to a standalone later. Can that be edited once the exhibitor is submitted or? Yes. Can it not? So yes, I can do that on my end. Yeah, so okay. Can. So we just need to email the office to have changes made. Yeah. And I can go in and change your class. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm more used to looking at my end than, uh, than what you see. So. Yep, I can do that for you. Anything else? So if you do have any questions or have any problems with it, go ahead and email me um, and I can help you with it. And if I don't know the answer right off, I can certainly find out for you. But um, we're getting more used to this system. So uh, be happy to help everyone find their way around. Diane, can you please remind us of the deadline to have these online entries submitted? So it's a little bit early this year. It's July 9th. Okay. So that's why we opened up the system so early. So help your club members uh, remember to go back in and sign up for those interview judging times now if they uh, would like to do that. And one more question. Diane, sorry, we didn't get to the payment. Is that a payment online then, like with a credit card? Yes. Okay. And sorry, um, I think because I was, um, Nikki was in cake decorating contest, 
Um, and I deleted the entry, but it seems to be a little jammed right there for me. And I'll ask them about that too, just so, just in case someone else might run into that. But I'm not sure what they've done, you know, as far as Nikki's entries in the past, because um, the state office uses it as an example for all the other counties as well. So uh, Nikki has um, entered a lot of different things. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Does somebody else have a question? Yeah, Diane, I did. So is this system, this, we're also going to be recording placings during fair through what's signed up on this system. Uh, that's correct. Be and because I, we have, go ahead. I don't know if they're going to go ahead and do books again, um, or if they're going to just have computers and you'll put it right into the system. Okay. Because we wow. have a couple of competitions that you kids can just join like right when it's starting. And so I was just kind of curious how we would get that to work. Okay. And like, you know, will I be able to? Um, the ranch, you know, is handling all of the livestock um, shows now this year. So um, mm. it would be best to talk with them. Diane? Yes. This is Cindy. Um, according to what we've talked about with Joy, we will be doing books as well as a backup system. So okay. there will be books being done at the same time as the computer for entries. Okay. Okay. I just, I just feel like I'll ask the ranch, but it just seems like if someone says, you know, oh, hey, I want to join in that competition, like the fitting competition, I won't be able to put them in the fair entry system. And so I won't be able to record like, oh, you got third place at all. Right. So my guess is if you're using books for that, then you would be able to uh, write them in and- um, If someone in. else can put them in. Yeah, that's my guess. Okay. But like I said, you know, the ranch is um, handling all of that. So um, it would be best to see how they would like you to do that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Well, that was a, a quick run through. I hope I was helpful to everyone and, and you can share with members in your clubs um, if they have questions. And like I said before, go ahead and direct them to me for fair entry questions. I'm so sorry, I have another question. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, like, you know, I level tested for ranch and I haven't gotten that back, but if I make entries for my English and Western, can, does it save when I exit out or will I have to remake all of them? It does. Um, and you can go back and add that ranch, but um, Libby, why don't you go ahead and add it? Uh, what level we were testing for? Level two. Okay. So worst comes to worst, I move you into level one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So go ahead and enter it and get all those entries finished up. All righty. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. If there aren't any other questions. That, oh, I'm sorry. You said the due date for this was July 9th to get it is. completely signed in and submitted. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, well, if there aren't any other questions, I'll go ahead and end this. Thank you for joining us tonight and I hope it was helpful to everyone. Um, I'm available if you run into any issues or questions uh, further down the road and remind Thank everyone you. the deadline for signing up. Thanks, Diane. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome.